Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be for people who are new to machine or machina, if you will. I am very new to this sof software and hardware and I just want to help you guys get started if you're in Pro Tools and you don't want to use the uh, standalone software that comes with the unit. Uh, me personally, with my workflow, I wanted to use the plug-in version of the software and be able to record MIDI data on a instrument track. So the way that I found to do that, uh, let me show you here, we'll load up the plugin on an instrument track here in Pro Tools. And we'll load any of these kits here, doesn't really matter. And you can see the, har the hardware recognizes it. And when you arm the track in this, in this mode, you hear the sounds perfectly. But the issue is that I was having was when I go to record I'm able to monitor the sounds but the MIDI data is not actually captured. And the way that I was able to remedy this was uh, first of all putting it in MIDI mode which is shift channel MIDI here on the unit and uh, by default what this does is it plays only one sample in at a different pitch so we're getting the kick sample in all different sorts of uh, pitch variations, which really isn't helpful and is very different from the plugin mode that I was just in. So if you're in this position like I was, and you want to be able to record MIDI data, but with the full kit sound, what you have to do is you have to go to this little icon here, this little dial, and then you're going to go to input, group, and then we're going to change this key mode to drum kit and then once you select that setting it will change the pads back to like it was in the plugin mode where the pads have their own samples and the beauty of this is since we're in MIDI mode we're able to capture all this MIDI now onto the instrument track here which is great. Uh, me personally, when I was looking on YouTube, I didn't see any demos for this or tutorials. I saw a lot of people either using the standalone software or they were routing audio out of the plugin to external auxiliary input tracks as audio, which personally for my workflow really isn't gonna work well. I wanna work with MIDI on one track and massage it till I'm ready to print it. Uh, so hopefully this video was helpful if you're in a position like me to where you're new to this hardware and you just want to get rolling on uh, recording in Pro Tools and an instrument track. I hope that it's helpful. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will happily answer them. Thank you for watching.